Hello my seekers, welcome back, welcome back to the channel. It's always such a blessing to have you right back here. Today's reading is for Scorpio. Scorpio, it is your day to shine. Please shine bright like a diamond. Also, if it's your first time here and you have not yet subscribed to my channel, feel free to subscribe, y'all, and turn on your post notifications so that way you will always know whenever I put brand new contents. Brand new contents. Also, please give the videos a thumbs up. Because when you thumbs up the videos, YouTube will see that you like the videos and they will push those videos out into a much wider audience and the channel and that particular video will grow, okay? For all my returning seekers, please know that I love you guys so, so, so much. Thank you for all your love and support. I see the love and trust me, I'm embracing all that good love, all that good energy. Please make a note that the card has been shuffled and the card has also been blessed. However, before I get into all my readings, I always have to pray first, asking the Lord just to send his most powerful angels to take charge over this reading and just to give me the right words and the messages that they want me to share with you, the seekers, only for the ones that needs to know. So let's pray. Heavenly Father, as I go along my day, I ask that you bless myself and my seekers. Heavenly Father, please send on your most powerful angels to take charge over this reading, using my body as a vessel, giving me the right words and the messages that you want me to share with the seekers. Order for the ones that needs to know. Heavenly Father, I give you all the honor and all the praises in Jesus' name. We pray. Amen. Amen. Okay, my darlings, we're going to find out what um, you might be going through right now. Let's see what the angel wants you to know. And I do have a playlist for y'all. So if this one does not resonate, please go and check out that playlist. One might be there that just suits exactly what you're going through right now. All right. Please follow me on Instagram. I want to connect with you right there, okay? All right. Let's see what angels are saying here. Oh, wow. Today is a good day, is what the angels are saying here. You've got this. Retreat to peace and love, all right? They want you to disconnect from all the negativity around you. They're saying that today, honey, is a good day good day and they just want you to retreat retreat all right and disconnect from all the things that have stressing you out you're going to have to do that right now okay angels are also saying here your person said keep an open mind their um, expectation is different from yours all right your person is your person who you're thinking about right now Okay, they're saying here that you have to keep an open mind about them because what you expect from them is totally different from yours. What are you looking for? It's going to be totally different from maybe what you're usually used to. All right, kind of the opposite. Still moment and quiet times alone is what you're feeling right now is what the angels are saying here. It's okay to just be alone sometimes. Don't feel like there's nothing wrong with you if you feel like being by yourself. I love to be by myself sometimes. I like it when my house is quiet and I don't hear nothing. It's okay. There's nothing wrong with you. I do it all the time. Angels are also saying here, you have been clearing your karmic baggage. I see for some of you have had a past that you just had to... Man, you just had to just get out of your system. And just says you have been carrying out your karmic baggage, okay? And you've been carrying this around for a long time. I feel like you might carry that karmic baggage to the next, to the next. I feel like um, this karmic baggage here is in the past. And I feel, I'm feeling like you probably moved on to something else already. Because this person here is, is reminding you that... Your expectation is different from your from yours. Their expectation and yours is totally different. So I feel like your person is giving you a heads up that whatever it is that you're bringing into the relationship, you have to probably stop that, throw it in the bin because that is what you're used to doing over here, okay? That is what I'm feeling here in my spirit. Angels are also saying here, okay? You've been thinking... What door to open next? Okay, so you kind of have, mm -mm. it's like you've been having, and this is where it gets sticky again, because I feel for some of you, um, this person here really likes you. You've met someone, haven't you? 
you definitely have met something new okay and you're afraid you're afraid you're afraid um you've been wondering what door to open next not just with your relationship but with your career your money everything because I feel like this baggage that you've been carrying around, and just said you've been carrying around that baggage for a goddamn long ass time. I think you need to let that go. I think you need to find it in your spirit to move on from that because it's going to kill your relationship. Anything moving forward from the past, you're going to put a stagnant on it. It's going to die. It's going to fade. People are going to leave. Sometimes you just have to think before you make a move. No more time to fail, okay? All right, positive moves. Don't look back at what you've been through with your um, bad past relationship that had you taken baggages with you, okay? Angels are saying, <laughs> a wedding is coming up in the near future, okay? The heart wants what the heart needs. It could be a wedding that is coming towards you. It could be a wedding that is coming towards someone around your circle okay but there's definitely some wedding planning that is going on if it not if it has not already happened it is about to happen or it's coming okay but a wedding is coming up in the near future angels are saying here uh, for some of you that religious factors may play a strong part with your person so your person did say here that um, you have to keep an open mind because their, their expe expectation is different from yours. So that also may be a religious factor as well. The way that they were brought up, the way that they view things, the way that they see things, yours may be on a little different level. But they're also saying, but love has its own spiritual path, okay? Just know that love has its own spiritual path, right? Don't forget that. Some is going through a separation a time apart is needed, okay? Right now. Um, and just saying that there's someone, all right? Someone is going through separation time apart is needed right now. So I feel for this situation here, um, it could be someone in your circle. It could be for yourself who's kind of just getting um, separating yourself from this past relationship. You're moving on to something new. Um, time apart is needed from that person, okay? Please know that. Maybe it's your person who you have just met that is going through the separation as well from, from their person, all right? Angels are also saying here, soon... All you have ever wanted will be given to you. So just be patient. They're saying that it's going to happen for you. Everything that you always wanted, or everything that you always dreamt of, it is going to happen to you. But you just have to be patient. Don't rush it, is what they're saying here. You're just not in the space for gossip. You don't want to hear what anybody have to say this time around because I feel for some of you, your past relationship called for a whole lot of gossip and a whole lot of bullshit and a whole lot of garbage. You don't want anyone to come and tell you anything right now if it's not something that is going to have you growing and building your energy and building your stash you don't want to have nothing to do with it okay you're you're just not in the space for gossip is what angels are saying here happiness is your goal so right now you just have to distance yourself from negative energy okay distance yourself from anything that is not godly if they can't come to you and uplift your spirit and talk to you about the word of god and to get you closer to God and his power and his glory, you don't want to have nothing to do with that, okay? Anything that's going to break you down and kill your energy, you're going to separate yourself immediately. If you have to block some people, when they're calling, look at the phone like, okay, that's you. Mm, I'm not, not, don't answer that phone because it's going to kill your energy immediately. Okay, and you're just saying here that there's an argument, an argument came between two people, and they're saying that the argument should have never happened. Now it's up to you to break the ice. So maybe there was a disagreement with you and this person here. All right, that little stupid little argument. They're saying just kill it. Just kill it. Let's move on from that argument. All right. Let's move on from that little argument. The argument, hmm, the argument should have never happened. That argument should never happen. Maybe a little disagreement. 
Let it go, honey. It ain't that serious, is what angels are saying here. Just break the ice. It's up to you to just go and break the ice with this person here, okay? I feel like this person meet, means you well. They, means, they mean you good. All right? Um, they wish you well. And they want to get to know you even more, is what I'm feeling. There's still a lot to learn. Still a lot to know with this person. Sometimes strangers treat you better though. Strangers treat you better than family. Is what angels are saying here. Hold on to the people that loves you the most. You might be having some problems with your family members, right? Kind of treat you worse than how friends treat you. Angels are saying... Just hold on to the ones, those family members that is also negative and going to drain you of your natural life source. You're going to have to let those ones go and root out the good ones and keep those close, okay? Uneasy, truths and arguments and discord headed ahead, dwelling on past hurt, block griefs, okay? Now, this argument here between you and this person here, it's time to hurry up and, 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 and <laughs> I'm just going to tell it to you as I see it. This argument that you had with your person, that feel like this person is pretty new in your life, okay? There's another argument that came across. You have to go ahead and break the ice quickly, okay? Because it's just going to get worse and worse and worse if you hold on to it. Uneasy truth is what the angels are saying here. Arguments and discord ahead. Dwelling on past hurt. You don't want to bring the old bullshit into the new, okay? See what's going to pop off over here. But leave the drama and everything that you've been through with this particular person. All right? And, and don't bring it over here because it's going to mess everything up. Big time. It's going to cause hurt and it's going to block grief. And nothing can enter. Once you start building that wall up, it's going to be hard to break it down. Okay? You don't want to kill it before it even started is what the angels are saying here. It is time that you just um, make truce with the, with the conversation. Just, just talk about it. Have a conversation about it and just try to move on because, oh, this car fell out. Let's see. The hermit in reverse, okay? I see where someone here may be walking alone. Some You probably felt like you was walking alone um, before this person came in the picture, okay? You felt alone in this situation. Right now, you, you don't need to feel alone. This person means you well, okay? This is in reverse. This person means you well, okay? Mean, they mean you well, all right? Um, they're going to help you also um, for seeking this, some answers that you may need in your life because you've been on this journey here with this baggage that you have left over here. What's hell to get out of this baggage? Now, this person that you have met, it's time to break the ice. Because this emperor, no, this person is an emperor, okay? And they are going to help you to release some of those heavy ass, unnecessary loads that you've been carrying, okay? You've been seeking answers for a very long time. And I feel like you have found the answers that you have seeked in reverse, okay? This person means you well. They mean you well. Thank you, angels. Thank you. Thank you. Any more messages? Please and thank you. Okay. All right. Mm-hmm. Knight of Swords, honey, okay? Um, this person is very ambitious. This person that is coming in here, they're very ambitious, a very ambitious person here that you have found yourself with. They're a very they're a fast thinker. Once they start to think something they get it done they move into action because they they then they have they're a planner this person is a planner okay you've met yourself a planner this is the type of people that you need to have in your circle okay you don't have to worry, even worry about making the plans because they would they will just go and just get it in they're fast thinker very fast thinker and this person means you well they're going to take some of that baggage and that load off of you but right now you just need to know that you need to don't bring your past into what you got going on over here because you're going to ruin a good thing, all right? A very good thing, a really good thing. The leg of that past baggage because you don't need to bring it on, drag it on up over here, okay? So I hope this reading did resonate with you. I hope you did find some kind of closure here. 
um please remember to pray uh, pray these negative people out of your life out of your equation because they don't need to be there so they need to be all the way up over there and see what's popping up with this person here because i feel this person is going to bring something new into your life and with that said prayer 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 and more prayer you can never pray enough and always remember to seek first and you will always find